Hello everybody. In this video, we are going to create finish point, uh, and we will also add script to that finish point. So I'm creating this uh, texture for finish point. So here, if we make rectangle like this, maybe like this. Yeah. Okay. And uh, we can. Yeah, that's looking fine. Now we can add some text here and we can write here finish. We can give color to the text and scale the text in Photoshop. Absolutely fine. Now we will just choose the text, go to blending options make some bevel and give some drop shadow to white maybe and spread that shadow but we can't see i don't know why outer glow no need of outer glow and drop shadow no need it's fine already okay so we can save this texture save as and uh, jpg form or png form you can save finish texture now in this video i will also discuss some uh, texturing thing so that should be very useful for you okay so in pix area oh uh, no uh, i think in sprites area no pix area is fine so in pix area we can just drag our finish texture here and now we are ready to uh, create a uh, this thing uh, finish point okay so for that we are going to create one box uh, by 3d object cube we will scale this cube like this and we can place it like this okay now we can duplicate this box cube sorry like this and then we can make one more duplicate and scale this duplicate and just uh, drag this finish point here and it's ups upside down okay so we arrange this texture like this and also we will scale according to our needs yeah that's fine now i'll explain about textures okay in default this texture if we select this texture you can see its properties here okay so its size is maximum size 2048 so we can should reduce this to something like 512 r256 okay so apply now you see there is no much more difference in this texture okay so but it affects on uh, game uh, speed okay so performance of the game so uh, we should uh, decrease our texture size okay as much as possible because in unity textures play a very important role so that's why now we will duplicate uh, and before duplicating this thing uh, we can just delete this delete this we will save this thing again simply and we will drag this into unity and same like we will do uh, select this texture and decrease pixels control D will duplicate and just drag this textures sorry this texture here on actually I want to add and floor oh yeah it's fine that's fine we don't need this thing you okay no problem that's good we have placed this texture here I need the same thing okay so now our finish point is ready and we can add our script on uh, at this finish point okay so uh, for that purpose first of all i will just add some material 
I think I have to chain even with these cubes and it will look better okay and yeah now it's fine now we will duplicate this thing cube and we can just adjust it here so when our car reaches this point this point we will move to scene next scene okay we will win the game and we will move to next scene so for that very simple we will just go to script we will add one more script c sharp script and uh, we will say finish line uh, scene 2 so here in the script we can just use the same method of uh, this scene manager copy and then we can go here and write on trigger enter we will make this function and we will just remove this thing we will add using unity in gender scene management sorry that's it and here we will change it to plus sign ok so now if we add this effect to our cube it will definitely work ok that's why now uh, for testing purpose we can we should test our things ok we can just drag this cube here near to car because we don't want to drive too away for testing purpose so now we will try here let's see oh sorry we didn't trigger uh, apply trigger ok so we should trigger now we will test and that's it we are moved to scene 3 that's perfect now we will test control z c we will move q to its default position press f to focus and then we will uh, disable this mesh render thing but before that we should arrange this finish point okay so for that we will create one empty object and we will rename this object to finish point and then we will select cubes inside this finish point and drag these to finish point area now if we select finish point we can move our finish point okay that's fine now we will just select this cube and disable mesh renderer and that's it we have successfully created our finish point okay so 